All right, guys. So I told Ryan Yu that I am a better Yu-Gi-Oh duelist than him. And he agreed. Stop the cap. <laughs> and now I'm going to show the world that I should have been the Nats finalist. So we're going to duel to a battle with his favorite deck and my second favorite deck and see who's going to win. Ryan, you think you're going to defeat me? You think you think he's gonna beat me? Well, yo, yo, who do you guys think is gonna win? Me or Ryan? Me. Ryan. Everyone voted for Ryan. I've never been so embarrassed in my life. Chat, if you think I'm going to beat Ryan, you, I want you guys to comment down below so you guys are cheering for your boy. At least someone wants their boy to win. So let's win. Let's go. And while you're in the comments, make sure to go check out Google Trip Game Play Match. Guys, I'm going to defeat Ryan right now. This video gets a thousand likes, I will defeat him. If it does not, I will lose. So y'all know what to do. Let's go. Ali, you suck. You play Plunder. Doesn't You're like 0-2 in the tournament right now. No, I'm not. You're 1-1. You're 1-1. It's even worse. What are you? Undefeated. Undefeated. No, you're not. I'm undefeated. You're I don't lose. I'm 4-0. Really? You're 4-0 oh, in two? Oh, 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 in two rounds. Oh, 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 in two oh, oh, I know. I said what I said. <laughs> now I'm going to be 5-0 after I defeat Ryan in this battle of... Striker versus Pendulums. Truth Gaming versus Ryan Yu. The battle of the Nats finalists of 2022 and the winner of the Nats of 2023. Who is going to win this battle of the gargantuan giants? My money is on myself and I pass my turn. Ja, 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 ja. What the heck, bro? I will be the most garbage hand in the universe. What the heck? It's like my Selene and Magician playmats are favoring Ryan Yu instead of its master, Truff Gaming. And of course, he opens Ray. Oh my god, guys, my hand is like double Nibiru, Ghost Ogre, Scythe, and Impermanence. What on God's green earth, bro? I imperm this in the start step of battle phase, and I'm like, you know, it's all good. I'd rather just do this, so he, because clearly he can't afterburn on my card, he can't shark hand in anything. He did it, like, unless he hard draws engage. There is no value that Engage can have right now, or Kagari can have, uh, unless, of course, you're Ryan you and you fucking start with Ray and you prosperity into an Engage. I'm sick. Ryan you man, this is a striker god. This is the striker god, baby. This is a striker god. No wonder he even that's fine, Liz. Let's go, Ryan. Uh, yeah, that's my hand. Double Ogre, Nib, Scythe, Imperm. No way we're winning this one. Uh, chat, you want to know why we didn't win this one? I told you guys in the beginning of the video. I told you guys in the beginning of the video. I said if we hit a thousand likes, I'm going to win this battle. But you guys didn't even smash the like button yet. My bad. Are we boys, guys? Are we homies? I thought we were homies. You guys didn't even smash the like button yet? Come on, guys. You guys didn't even stop the video to go buy a magician playmat or a Celine playmat with the big titties? Come on. Chat, I thought we were all homies. As soon as the homies do it. See? See? Some of you guys just went on my website and I hard draw Italy. Some of you guys just smashed the like button and commented that you guys love me. And because you you guys being amazing, thank you everyone who did that. I drew Italy. The Baylor's Lizay, I mean, does not matter. Why? Bro, we have the most broken hand in the history of the game right now. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Right of Aramisir, Italy. Oh my goodness gracious lord. This is the greatest hand in the history of mankind. Why? Because you guys like the smash the subscribe button and the like button, as I said. Uh, now, all we need to do is win this game is for you guys to purchase a Magician Playmat. And then, boom, Red Rose Dragon. Oh, my God. <laughs> Rose Dragon. Italy. Right of Aramis here. See you later, alligator. There is no answer in the history of the game that'll save our friend Ryan Yu over here. So, here, we are going to get Draco back. I'm setting this up. I don't want to go into Needle Fiber until I'm able to... Search for Basil Roshu in my hand. This will make it so uh, even if he has Valor, Nibiru, and Imperm, uh, he is still cooked. Uh, but there's no answer. Even if he had all that, he was still cooked. Let's go. So here we're going to go into Shooting Riser. I want to send Snow ASAP just in case he has Valor, Nibiru, Imperm. Uh, the combination of all these three uh, still is not going to matter. So with these two, I'm debating now, like, what's the most value? How can I get the best value out of this? Uh, I put the Zay I mean before the right because I wanted it to get hand trapped. I wanted it to get Valor or Imperm or Ash or anything like that. Because I had full combo regardless of my Rose Dragon, right? Every Mesir combo. Here we can go Needle Fiber into Jet. Now I could do this combo different ways. Obviously, the end goal is Needle Fiber Dag to Baron. And, but I want to set up as much as extra interruptions as possible. I want to make sure Snow is there. I want to ensure I have a good follow up, all that stuff. So here we're going to go into Dagda. I have a graveyard right now of Jet Synchron and Fairy Tail Snow as grave effects. This is very vital when you're playing this deck. You want to look at your graveyard, get the most follow-up. You want to use as little follow-up as possible. Uh, here, I'm going to go into uh, Faithful, which I didn't use yet, just to get rid of him. He's here in my hand. 
Uh, I could have triggered Dagda. I've opted, opted not to uh, set one, and I'm going to pass. Uh, he doesn't know my set. I believe it's a Scarlet Sanguine. This is why Elder is so powerful. Even if he stops this Dagda from resolving, it doesn't even affect us. Uh, so it's all good in the hood. Uh, he starts off with Prosperity. So I have a few options here. I could hit his ass with a Dagda Scythe. There's lots of options, uh, obviously. I'm going to wait to see what he draws with Prosperity. I want to see if he does three or six. I want to see how this goes. What's going to end up happening. I have Fairy Tail Snow and Grave. Let's remember this. I bear in the floor, and I have I saved the Draco back in my hand because just in case of Mystic Mine, uh, I believe I have Draco back right over Miss Year in my hand. At the, yeah, I have both. So you guys drop it with Prosperity. Little unfortunate. This kind of means that a lot of our stuff could be stopped, but that's fine. I'm gonna do this in a smart manner. So what I'm gonna do here is you get a normal Ray. Okay, I cannot let him droplets with a spell. So what I'm gonna do right off the bat, I'm, I'm really thinking here. I'm like, okay, so all I need to do here is I need to be able to get droplets to. Uh, Hit as little cards as possible. If I fairy tale snow right now, he just chains Ray, so there's just no value in doing this. Uh, so I, I have to do this in a way where he's forced to droplet like extra cards from his hand, not a spell. Like I don't want him to go widow anchor, chain droplet, something like that. I'll get cooked. So he summons a Hayate away from dead to battle phase. So listen to this here, okay? Uh, to play around droplet, you want your opponent to get rid of most cards possible in hand because he's still gonna like even if it, it droplet stops everything, I'm still gonna win in card advantage if he gets rid of his whole hand. One Gagari doesn't do anything, so we're gonna go uh, needle fiber Dagda hits scythe. I'm gonna go TG Warner to pop the scythe. He lets it go instantly. He chains shark uh, shark cannon to banish the scythe. In this scenario, I just left this, so I'm gonna he's debating here how he wants to do this. If I go bear and negate the negate the shark cannon, clearly he has a drop. I know he has a droplet. That's a waste of a card. So I'm gonna allow him to banish the scythe with no response whatsoever. He and now is gonna go on to the next uh still battle phase now. And I'm thinking, okay, so we let that happen. Destroy Hay I let Hayate send resolve. I'm waiting for the Kagari to get dropped. Well, what's gonna happen here? Like, there's not, not nothing that can actually happen. It's gonna affect us. Hayate is gonna get destroyed as well. So he sends uh, engage here. I use Baron effect to stop the ray in the graveyard. Now, what's the worst that would happen? He changed droplet, wastes his whole hand. There's no answer. There's nothing that can be done at that point. Is game. So here we're gonna go on to game number three. Uh, that's why you gotta be smart with uh, how you're gonna play around uh, all these cards. Uh, Penbest deck is all I gotta say. Penbest deck, boys. Penbest deck and Punk Synchro Eldritch. Uh, tuner, Jet Synchron, Rose Dragon, Right of Every Seer Package deck. Insert every deck in the game is uh, third best, uh, si third best deck, second best deck. Here, uh, Ryan opts to set one card. Okay, so I, you know this deck. This is Str Sky Strikers, so it could be lots of stuff. But you're gonna go into Right of Every Seer and Fateful. Uh, I'm gonna, I want to see what he has here. There's a lot of lines. This could go anyway because he could have Mystic Mind in his hand. Uh, clearly, he doesn't have Ray because he didn't draw into it already. So I just have to play the most, the best possible way. For the best possible follow-up because he could have anything i'm not trying to uh, lose to, to a metaverse any of that stuff nibiru hand trap there's so much stuff that can go wrong here so i have special souls right now i believe i have a handful of hand traps at the moment i'm gonna this will trigger faithful to get draco back and he's gonna go so great the faithful this is a little unfortunate for obvious reasons but this is fine i still want to get as much as value as possible here so i'm gonna go souls just send one i don't want to get cooked by sending two i have one golden land and i believe i had like an imprim or, or something. I didn't want that to be gone. So I forgot exactly what I had. But uh, here we're going to send a Conquistador. Uh, so we're going to be able to get a Scarlet at the end phase. This Scarlet now makes sure that I have an amazing follow-up. So I can kind of like go a little bit balls to the wall here if I felt like it. But also you have to play around Nibiru. So what I do here is I know he has cards like Nibiru. So I go into uh, Dark just to attack for 2,000. And I'm like, you know what? This is fine. He has no answer. I have Hand Traps. I have Scarlet to go for follow-up. Uh, there's not much answer that he has here, so I just go set Scarlet Pass. I have Dark, which if he destroys it, I'll be good. I have a lot of hand traps. I win next turn. He Cosmics the Scarlet. Very unfortunate he Cosmics the Scarlet. I had, to, I really wanted to save it. We have nice follow-up here, so we're good. We just need him to not open anything. So he, he gets Mystic Mind as we expected. I'm like, this is fine. Draw. I know I have Cosmic Cyclone. I know I, I have another Magician Souls because I, I saved one by sending with Illusion and Chaos. And I'm like, you know what? Yo, we're still golden. We're absolutely golden. I have the Cosmic, literally. Uh, so I'm like, all right, Cosmic. See you later, Mystic Mind. I'm going to go Souls here. Uh, I'm going to go Illusion first. So I, I, I believe I saved the uh, Illusion, but I top decked another one. A little unfortunate. So I actually have two Magician Souls right now, and I have two Hand Traps. So now in my mind, I'm like, okay, I'm going to play around Nibiru. That's, uh, if you see his hand, like uh, his hand showing his Nibiru, Ash, and Ghost Ogre. So I'm playing around Nibiru. Every other Hand Trap doesn't affect me right now. Nibiru, uh, I didn't think of Ghost Ogre. Ghost Ogre hurt the most. And I'm trying to play around Nibiru. Uh, that's the only card I'm trying to think of. So I go Selene Effect. 
And sadly, my Celine is getting hit with Ghost Ogre. Celine gets obliterated by Ghost Ogre. This is very unfortunate because I'm playing around the Biru this whole time. And uh, in doing so, I get absolutely cooked by Ghost Ogre. All right, this is fine. I still have good follow-up. I have more cards in hand than he does. I pass. I'm like, I'm fine. Next turn, I summon another Souls. Normal summon Tuner. I go for game. He goes Prosperity. I'm like, fuck, man. Anything. Literally, his game three is so important. Anything but Ray. Whoever wins the top deck battle wins. I need to draw a right. So I need to draw a Tuna. I need to draw e uh Foxy Tune. I need to draw one of my nine ways into Zayamine. He needs to draw one of his eight ways into Ray. And six card, he draws fucking Rose. Oh, I'm sick. Oh, my God. Absolutely sickening. Uh, props for six. He gets the Rose. I'm like, you know what? This is still fine. I just need to draw a Foxy Tune. That's it. Like, any way to say, I mean, uh, I have an extender in Souls, and even if through one hand trap, I'll be perfectly golden here. I can even just go into, I uh, opt to hand trap this with Valor. I can even just go into dark, light dark, take his rose, enter battle phase attack. I have to stop him from searching anything. So I'm like, let's go. All right, no no Kagari, no Shizuku. All I need now is just literally, for right, let me say, I win the duel. I win the duel here. I win the duel, Ash. Fucking GG, bro. Oh my God. Ah, oh, Striker God. This is an absolutely amazing game. GG's Ryan. That's, that's game. Ah, so close. Pen best decks, though. We got to head into Ryan. You got the best of us this time, man. There's no shame in defeat. Ryan, congratulations, bro. You played absolutely amazing. No wonder you're a Nats finalist. Next year, I will see you in the finals. Guys, thank you for watching this video. Get out this bar. Smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button. Check out the beautiful playbytrippergaming.com. I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you guys. Thank you all for the support. Let's go. See you guys next video. Peace.